What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Mystic Waters. And today, we are playing Convenient What? Hey, Convenient Who? Hey, Convenient What? Hey, Convenient Who? On episode two, your story. I hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas because I did just an update, just an update. Private lessons will be posted on Wednesday. I know we skipped it for Friday because, you know, I was busy, but I did record the finale and I can't wait for y'all to see it. So it will be posted Friday. It's moving day. Will everything go as planned or will this arrangement push you and Aubrey further apart? Oh my God, y'all. Are we moving in together, you guys? You guys. <laughs> you are like, I cannot. Are we really moving in with him? Like, I am so nervous. But remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you care. Honey, convenience back. Hey, compete it back. I really have no idea what to do. Oh, yeah, we got to meet the sisters, y'all. Y'all, y'all. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Meeting the family is always nerve-wracking. I mean, y'all. Right, what if they try to test me? They're annoying. They expect me to start a conversation. Like, they try to test me. Like, what if they try to test me? Like, like ask me some questions. I don't know. Like, <laughs> what, do you think you're still in high school? Okay, look, that's not what I meant. Okay, thanks, sister, though. Relax. Uh, I'll try. Like, you are, you're really into this, aren't you? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what you saying? The marriage. I mean, I don't have any other option. Aubrey is a really nice guy. You never know unless you try. I don't know which one I push. <laughs> oh, look, you never know unless you try. There you go. We got to try at least, right? I hope you don't regret it. I mean, me too. But sister, look, seriously, stop it, okay? She's giving me negative vibes. Just give me good advice on what to do and what not to do. That's why I called you, girl. Fine, okay. <laughs> First of all, you need to wear the perfect outfit. Oh, you know we going to, okay? I don't play about the outfit, honey. I definitely want to dress nicely to meet Aubrey's sisters to make a good impression. Okay? We get to make the outfit, y'all. We get to make the outfit, y'all. Okay, what do I want to wear? Okay, what we wearing, y'all? What we wearing? Eh? What we wearing, y'all? Mmm, I like that one. Oh, yeah, we definitely not wearing that. That one or that one? That one or that one? That one or that one? We're going to do that one. Yeah, that is. Uh, uh, that is. Uh, that is. <laughs> Here's the sisters, y'all. I'm so nervous. Look, look at his face. Hello. <laughs> Hi. I saw your picture from a few nights ago. Oh, you did, girl. It wasn't the worst picture ever, but girl, you could have at least smiled at the camera. Look here, Alyssa. You calm down. <laughs> Don't mention it ever again. <laughs> Why? Are you embarrassed? I mean, were you embarrassed by the picture, Sky? I don't think I was. I mean, I'm not embarrassed just a little bit. Or yes, it was really embarrassed. I'm saying I'm not embarrassed. Of course not. Like, I wish I could have posed better, though. I mean, yeah, I was just caught off guard. You know, all the dang paparazzi around me, you know? Well, a little smile wouldn't hurt. Okay, Alyssa, I get it. I wasn't smiling. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> oh, come on. Stop tormenting her. <laughs> Why don't you leave us alone, Aubrey? Like, dying. walk away, boo. Walk away. Why? <laughs> Just leave us. We need to talk to Sky. I mean, I'm okay with that. They got to talk to me. I just hope they don't quiz me. Alone. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, whatever. <laughs> So, what do you think of him? Like, what you mean? Like, what do I think of Aubrey? Nice, all right, not the best person. I'm going to say he's nice. Like, we going to say that. He's a nice person. What am I supposed to say? You know? Like, really? Well, she didn't like that answer? Yes. I mean, he's been good so far. I mean, he has, kind of. That's surprising. He usually gives a very bad first impression. 
I mean, he did kind of, but we ain't going to get into that story. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I believe in second chances. It's okay. We won't bite. Okay, I know you won't bite, girl. We're just a bit concerned. What are they concerned about? Like, what? For me or for him? Like, I guess, should I say for him? Concerned for him? Like, what are we saying? For both of you? What? What is she talking about? Now that you two are getting married, whatever happens in his life will now affect you. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for reminding me. (laughs) What do you mean? What does she mean by that? Ever since our mother passed away, Aubrey just changed. Uh Uh-oh. Changed? Like, what do you mean? He had always been a mommy's boy. Uh Uh-oh. They giving me some tea, y'all. But what do you expect from the firstborn son, right? What? What is happening? What is happening? (gasps) Come on, Sky. I'm taking you home now. Uh Uh-oh. They pissed him off, y'all. Uh oh, mama's a sore subject, y'all. Aubrey? Sky. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, well, he wasn't happy. All right. Look at his face, y'all. What do we say? Aubrey looks so pissed. I mean, why is he so mad? Maybe not pissed as much as hurt. Uh oh. Okay, mommy is a sore subject, okay? His brows just kept farrowing right after we stepped foot out of Amelia's place. Yo, I feel bad. Like I know I didn't bring her up, but like he hadn't said a word, but I could tell his sister had really struck a nerve with the topic of their mom. That's not good. Aubrey, like, hmm, are you okay? Like, I want to let him know I'm here if he wants to talk. I'll ask if he wants to talk about what happened. Yeah, let's ask. We're going to ask if he wants to talk. Do you want to talk about it? Like, you can open up to me. We about to be married. About what? Aubrey, you know what I'm talking about. About why you're so angry at the mention of your mother. Uh Uh-oh. 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 I'm not angry. I just don't want them to talk about her. Okay, got it. So let's not talk about mom. Well, do you want to talk about it with me? Maybe that'll make you feel better. You know, letting it out. Come on. I don't know, Skye. How you not know? Oh, Aubrey. We're getting married soon. You know, I'll always have your back, right? Like... Dude, you're going to have to give it to me either way. I'll always listen to you and I'll try to be a good listener for you. Oh, hey, Sky, she's so cute. I don't want to force you to talk about it now, but sometimes talking things out is better than keeping things for yourself only. I agree. I agree. Let it out, you all. Let it out. Don't keep that in. Let it out, you all. My mom. I know, your mama. What, what you going to say? She was very lonely, Sky. Oh my goodness, is that the same lady he was dreaming about? Moving to America for our father wasn't the easiest thing that she had ever done in her life. Okay, so she's not from America, and it's never got any easier for her, especially not when her husband was a workaholic who barely paid attention to her. Dang, I'm sorry, Aubrey. Aubrey, I'm sorry, Aubrey. Dang. Even when she was hospitalized, he remained missing most of the time. Dang, that must suck, y'all. Like, I know she felt really lonely. Oh, he didn't care for her. What he did was pay for her hospital bills, and that's it. Oh, that's sad, y'all. So sad. That must have been a lonely life, y'all. But she had you and your sisters, right? Like, yeah, I mean, did she? She had you and your sisters. Why he looks so sad? Not really, at least not me. Uh Uh-oh. So he regrets not spending time with his mom. What do you mean? That's what that is. That's regret. I wish I wasn't too busy with my own life when she was hospitalized. Dang, she must have passed away in the hospital. Y'all, this is so sad. But I guess I was too much of my father's son to realize that. Oh, okay. He just went from zero to 60. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, We're here. Um... I'm going to just say, call me, I guess. I don't know what else to say to him. Call me. Okay. Sorry. Like, call me. If only he knew that I actually meant what I said. Look, he's so mad, y'all. Dang. Is he, like, just, like, completely upset with us? Like, I don't know what to do, y'all. Y'all. Unfortunately, that day was the last time I ever really saw or heard from him. So he just disappeared on us? Y'all, aren't we supposed to be getting married? Like, what's going to happen? 
Yo, uh, where we getting flowers though? Who are the flowers from? He never showed up again. He never even asked how I was doing, let alone asked me out on a date. Wow. So he just ghosted her? How rude. The only thing he did was send me flowers. Why is he sending her flowers and just not saying anything to her? Gifts? Gifts? Another bouquet of flowers? More flowers? Wow. Okay. And a teddy bear. Okay. Wow. All of the things that I didn't really want or need. Like, exactly. Like, sir, why are you not calling, texting, anything? I really wish we could have talked more. He could have called me at least once. Yeah, he could have called me at least once. Like, at least once. Come on. Like, let me know. Let me know what's going on, sir. Maybe to ask how I was doing so I could ask the same thing back. Like, seriously. Come on, dude. Miss Sky. Yes, Dana. The movers are coming in two days. Do you want me to help you pack? Hold on now. The movers? Where are we going? Where are we going, you are? The movers? <gasps> yes, to help you move in with Mr. Edelman. Oh, my. Y'all, we still moving in with him even though he's not talking to us? Move in? Sky, I mean, we did know this. I've told you this since the very beginning. You're moving in with Aubrey soon. She did tell us that, y'all. She did. Sky, I don't know why she acting. I told you that's happening this week. But it's really awkward because he hasn't talked to us. I'm pretty sure you nodded, honey. I'm going to say, can we postpone it? Like, <laughs> can we postpone this, mama? I know it ain't going to make a difference. But, yo, he ain't talking to us. Why? I thought things are good, going well. I mean, I don't know. I just need some more time to get to know him better. Like, mom, something. Well, it'd be easier if you two live under the same roof. I mean, I get it, but like, it's going to be awkward. Look at his face. <laughs> I kind of expected more. Oh, there's probably more coming. They're bringing in my dresses tomorrow. They didn't fit in the truck. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> She's such a princess. <laughs> you yeah. You are. Where are you taking that box? Like, where are you taking my stuff, boo? What you doing? To my bedroom. So, are we not going to talk about how he ghosted us? Your bedroom? Yes. Did you expect us to stay in different rooms? I mean, I kind of thought we would, but I guess not. I don't know. What about the guest room? <laughs> there is one, but I haven't really renovated it since I moved here. Okay. It's also very small. Ugh, okay, we can't do small. If you need a different truck for your dresses, I don't think the guest room would be big enough. Yeah, I uh, I agree. Um, we ain't gonna be doing small, honey. My bedroom isn't that bad. Come on. Okay, yes, agree to stay in his bedroom because we ain't doing the guest bedroom, girl. Okay, we ain't doing that. We need some room, honey. <laughs> okay, fine. Don't act like you ain't happy about this girl. <laughs> she knows she like Wabaria. Okay. Pretty nice, right? Oh, shut up, Aubrey. <laughs> y yes, it is. <laughs> I can't believe how nice it is. It's really nice. Hey. It's really nice. Hey, hey, hey. Glad I didn't pick the smaller room. He is a very nice walk-in closet that he doesn't use. He doesn't use it? Oh, you know, we're going to be taking full advantage. My dresses are going to be so proud of me. <laughs> Yo, got a big old closet. What? He got a big old closet. Who? He got a big old closet. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Good. Um, does he still have an attitude like what? I'm hungry now. <laughs> well, the kitchen is right there. Um, okay, you're not hungry. <laughs> not really. All right, okay, let's go to the kitchen. I doubt she knows how to cook, let's see. Uh, if only I knew how to cook. See, I knew, I knew she didn't know how to cook. I knew it. <laughs> how does he live without a single butler? <laughs> She's so spoiled. Yo, her mama didn't teach her no type of independence. I thought the Edelmans were rich. Wow, I'm done. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, hello? Are you done eating? Um, not quite. I admit it, you can't cook. I'm saying, I'm just saying, I can't cook, man. I can't cook, y'all. I can't. I mean, in real life, you know, I'll be throwing down in the kitchen, all right? But uh, her, she cannot. <laughs> I can't cook. Oh my goodness, you can't cook? How's he surprised? No, I can't, okay? Not even the basic stuff, like an omelet? <laughs> Obviously not. I don't even know how to turn on the stove. 
Wow, that's insane. Not even, what? Do you want me to teach you the basics? Aw, he gonna teach me you all. Yes, Aubrey. Learn how to cook with Aubrey. Of course, we're gonna learn how to cook with Aubrey. Gonna learn how to cook. Please, that'd be useful. That'd be useful. Ugh, you all, my mouth got juicy. Anyway, all right, put on an apron. <laughs> Just listen to me and do the things that I tell you to. Okay, let's get it started. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> anyway, that's what it reminded me of. And now we just turn on the stove. Okay, try to push it a little, then turn it to the right. What are we cooking? Like, what is that? Okay, like this? Oh, how kinky. you? Why doesn't it have any fire? You are... Y'all, yeah. <laughs> because it's an electric stove. Oh my gosh. See the indicator light on is, that means the stove is working. Got you. Oh, interesting. Now we just wait. Oh, this is just so cute. He's teaching her. You can press down the chicken once in a while with the spatula to make sure it's cooked. Yes, because you got to make sure chicken is cooked all the way through, honey. You're doing great. Oh, how can you look at her? What do you think? Oh, she learning about if the chicken is cooked or not? <laughs> I don't know. It's only my first time cooking. <laughs> no, I mean, what do you think of cooking? Oh, okay. What are we going to say? What are we going to say? What are we going to say? What, 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 what? Do you like it? Yeah, I do like it. I can get used to this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, boo-boo. I can get used to this. Oh, she said what I said, y'all. Oh, look at it. See, I knew she was going to say that, y'all. What is that? That don't look like chicken, y'all. <laughs> Why are you staring at me? Hmm. Say it. I take it you never take public transportation, right? Well, of course she doesn't. She, I bet she don't know how to drive. I mean, you can't even cook. Sir, if you don't calm down, nope, never had that or never had the need to. It's either a chauffeur or you drive to the rescue. <laughs> you drive, that's funny. You already know what you drive is. <laughs> okay, no need for that. I work mostly from home anyway, so I can drive you around. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What time do you usually go to work? Uh, I don't think she has a job. Work? Yes, if you need to leave before 8, then I'll need to adjust my wake-up schedule. Um, yeah, buddy. Aubrey. <laughs> hmm? I don't even have a job. <laughs> How does he not know this? Y'all, they gonna end it there, too? How does he not know that she does not have a job? Like, come on, man. If she didn't know how to cook, just, just, just put two and two together. She's very spoiled. It's her mama fault. <laughs> anyway y'all thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate it remember to like comment subscribe share if you can and i will catch y'all on another one bye, -bye.